வணக்கம் எக்பெரி இருக்கீங்க நல்லா இருக்கும் என் பேர் இமானி from England ungal payana Palachandra Palachandra ah oh, nice. Peral oh wow right. Pani service okay yeah. wow so this is how they used to extract the water here with like um diesel yeah 96 Welcome Yekperi Irikinge. Welcome to another episode and right now I'm in a place called Danash Kori here in southeastern India. Now this place definitely has a lot of importance in the history of India and Sri Lanka which is a country nearby. Now in 1964 there was the Rameswaran cyclone in 1964 and literally over 2000 people died because of the cyclone part of this area here was sank under the water and the government has declared this place a ghost town which means people can't really live here anymore but you do people do see people that comes out here to of course see what happened see the remains of the donash kodi area here in tamil nadu and you have people that have stalls and stuff that do sell fruits and different things like that but it's inhabitable now you can't live here anymore and this is the remains of danish kodi it's kind of hard to think what this would have been like isn't it such a vibrant and bustling community to come to an abrupt end in 1964 like this crazy you still get to see certain fishermen along the shores here so going for their daily catch wow these are all people from the fishing community here let's see if we could go and have a chat with them wow sharp rocks no of um rubbish here i guess it's not one of those beaches you come and um just chill and the sun's very hot Let's see these are the Vera come. <laughs> Going to say <laughs> Let's see. Probably they never had a YouTuber approach them before. Let's see how it goes. Vera come. Yak peri irikinge. Nala irakam. Yen pera imani. From England ungal pera na. Pala chandra. Pala chandra. Ah nala pera. உங்களோட ஆங்கிலம் தெரியுமா தெரியும் தமிழ் தமிழ் தஸ் தமிழ் எனக்கு தமிழ் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் பேச தெரியும் சுனாமி லாங் டைம் ஓகே tsunami here tsunami city city singapore really wow singapore ella city naal me naal meeliku ulla ke samudrathula poi wow wow okay nandri fish okay so you can see guys he wrote in the sign here 19 that that is when the uh, tsunami the well, yeah the cyclone tsunami happened and many people lost their lives in the city like i was telling you earlier on now he doesn't uh, speak english very well but we had a little communication and he was able to tell me about that what happened my friend ungale sandita khel mahilchi nandri vanakkam sir mana yeah mean machi irukku oh machi ne oh fish fishermen okay so they fish ha 
Yeah, England. England. Yeah, yeah, England. Yeah. Uh, India. 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 Oh no, uh, Yalpanam. Yalpanam, no, yeah. No, okay, India. India. Okay, India. Nalam. Nalam. Okay, okay. Oh, ka, uh, ka, ka, dance Kodi. Oh, okay. That's here. Here, yeah, dance Kodi. Mummy, daddy, la, dance Kodi da. Dance Kodi da. Oh, okay. Mom, father, dance Kodi. Okay, so he's from dance Kodi. That's the name of this place here. Okay. Okay, Poita Poita Varen. All right. So yeah. Just had a chat with the fishermen there. So that was interesting. 1964 guys, like I was telling you. That is when the tragic event happened. Tsunami. <laughs> So they're from Dan's Cody. This is the area here. Guess they'll come and do their little fishing once in a while. And then, yeah. That's it. This really does feel like a ghost town though. Apart from the tourists that will come and visit. <laughs> when they're gone, this place will literally be a ghost town. So this is the fishing community here and all along this street you can get souvenirs people selling souvenirs and all of that you know beads and all when I come yeah pretty you can get yeah now love now love yeah all right she's selling things here hey when I come yeah pretty you can get yeah you know cut down me la kunjum kunjum pesaterium yeah, yeah, I'm from, e from England. England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your shop? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nalam, nalam. Okay, point our Nandri. <laughs> All right. Just talking to some local ladies in the community when I come. So we're moving on. All right. So, this is clearly. As we get closer, this is clearly one of the buildings as well, one of the structures that has been destroyed guys, okay, so let's take a little walk down, let's take a walk down and have a look, you can see, take a look. And uh, right, so Dana Scotty 1964, yeah, cyclone. So you can see, it's believed this is the place where Lord Rama had ordered Lord Hanuman to build a bridge which could carry his army across to Sri Lanka, where they, they say the demon king Ravana mm -hmm. had kept Sita captive as ordered. Lord Hadiman had obliged and it was here that Ram Setu was built by Vanasena. So this place is definitely a very important historical place here in India and for Sri Lanka. Because apart from the cyclone in 1964, they believe also that a bridge was here which could lead from this place here, Danaskodi, to Sri Lanka. Now there's two different versions of the story. One was Ravana was a bad person. However, some people in Sri Lanka believe Sita was Ravana's daughter and he had all rights for her to be with him as it was his daughter. So very different versions of the story. But in India, this is the story here. So look at it, man. It had a railway. There was a, a, a British um, train station here, a port and everything here during uh, or before 1964 so this was a really striving town you see right the cyclone 
destroyed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So wow, wow. Yeah. So there was a train, as you say. College students. Yeah. College students. Wow. wow. Died. They were funny, man. Wow. So you can see a lot of college students that was on the train and everything like that died. So this was a real striving place, guys. It wasn't just. Um, uh, you know a, a small village it was a real proper community with colleges a train station and everything like that i mean have a look at this building here i mean before 1964 in its glory days this would have been a very very grand structure guys oh, oh this is real what water dime yeah yeah oh pani Oh right, for the so yeah, for this was you as like a water down here. Wow. So let's have a look. What's going on? <sighs> Guys, it's very hot. I'm literally this has been a very interesting day. So you can buy souvenirs here as well. In Bolt uh Tori Tori Hindi Bolta. Oh, this is a train rail. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so that's the Bay of Bengal this side. In the In the Masa, that's the Mana. city full of Pani Kandar. Okay. All right. Pani Kandar. All right. Up where Ramisro, only Mandi Ramis City in a year. Mini Singapore and Scotty. Ninety city for me, Tsunami now. You up a Sri Lanka only at Armulanga. Wow. Oh, that, that, oh, that's it to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka do transcode me. Wow, wow. Ship wala, yeah. Okay, guys. So just over there, that's the port over there from Danis Kodi. You could have gotten a ship from there straight to Sri Lanka. So that's very interesting, guys. We're seeing. And we'll like, okay, 40. Light, yeah, light, yeah. Light. yeah, 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 it's about 40 kilometers. Ah, only, only, yeah, voila. Oh, wow, from here it's 18 kilometers. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, ah, wow. night, me, night, night, me, light, light. yeah, 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 me box, wala, na. wow, 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 yeah, 300 house, yeah, 300 house there. okay, yeah, mommy. Mamina, Mami, 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 me, Bamli, me, there met three hundred. Okay, I met three hundred Bamli. Oh, to go Sri Lanka. Three hundred Bamli met a score. Oh, family, oh, Danis Kori. Okay, three hundred families. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Nandri, Nandri, when I come. Yeah, so guys, we learn, we're learning a lot. We're seeing that there was a real, no, the, of course, the port over there, uh, and to Sri Lanka from here. It's 18 kilometers, not 40, 18. So that's very near, guys. Very, very near. And we can see they had a, this, this here was a dam, like you were saying, for the water. And look at that. So this was a real striving community. Apart from that, this one on the ground here that I'm about to show you, this one will have been a rail. Rail line. Rail line. Rail water service. Yeah. Diesel, diesel, okay. water. Water, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Wow. So this is how they used to extract the water here with like um diesel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is the water. Yeah, Wow. 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 Very good water. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the water here and you, and it's and, and it's drinkable drinkable like he's saying. So all of this and right here was the rail train. So that's very, very interesting, man. So much history in this this town and now it's, it's it's a ghost town apart from the few um families that are here like i was saying to you you know mm. all right <laughs> yeah so we're learning a, we learn quite a lot i did show you some of the other buildings along the way 
and of course the British was here as well so they will have been down here there was colleges here as well from what he was saying a train line so wow man I just it's it's a lot to take in Ramisro, Sydney. Mm. Ramisro, Temple. Temple, yeah. Main city, Singapore, Danaskori. Yeah, Danaskori. Main Singapore. Wow. Main Singapore, Sri Lanka, do. Danaskori. Wow. Main Singapore, number one, Singapore. Mm. Wow. So it's almost like, from what he's saying, Ramaswaram is a place of temples, temples. but Danaskori was the main city. It was, it was like a sing out this the Singapore, Singapore. Uh, of 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 this Singapore. area here. Wow. F yeah, yeah. 500. <laughs> wow. Wow. So this was a proper city, guys, from what they're saying to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So guys, we learn a lot today. We really learn a lot about the history here yeah. in Danaskodi, the Singapore, uh, here in, in India. Singapore. Yeah, yeah, from long time ago. So I trust you guys got an idea of what it was like here. It's a bit of a sad story because now a lot of things was destroyed. Yeah, There's a fort. So yeah, guys, this is, wow. It's a lot to take in. Sri Lanka do old dark burner. Yeah. Sri Lanka do Boat. Wow. Boat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One sec. So yeah. this one here will have been the boat from Sri Lanka to Danaskodi. This city here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, British. Ah, ah yeah, yeah. British oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we can see from the pictures here. Ah. These were the British were here in Danos Cody during the time. So, they were, they was here. This was also the boat mail train mm -hmm. at Danos Cody Harbor. Sri Lanka to Sri Lanka to Danos Cody. And look how close it is, guys. Yeah, Ram Sedu. Ram Sedu. Wow. Ram Sedu, Sri Lanka to. Yeah, what's the Indian? They are Sri Lanka, me. Wow. Ram Sedu Bardi. Wow. Okay. Alman. Yeah, yeah. Ramar Alman Birjina. Ram Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wala. Look at that, guys. Yeah, kilometer. Twenty-seven kilometers. Kilometer, me. India. Yeah, Damaskodi. Ram Bridge here, straight to Sri Lanka. Only twenty-seven kilometers. Wow. So you can. Yeah, yeah, Birji. Yeah, wala. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! So Alman, yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. So this is Hanuman. Alman, me yeah, Birji. Okay, we have Rama. Ah, Rama. Uh -huh. Yes, na. Okay. Yeah, wala Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, wala Birji Wow. So it's the same. So in ancient times, it was believed that um, uh, what his name was a Lord Rama built a bridge. Danaskodi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Danaskodi. So he built a bridge from Danaskodi to Sri Lanka to rescue his wife Sita as the story goes here in India and it's the same bridge as well that they had used um, during before 1964 as well when they was doing the um, the boat mail train and they also had the ship as well that used to go from the harbor here to Sri Lanka and it's only 27 kilometers wow a lot of history yeah, nautical, nautical cup. A yeah, boat mail, boat mail, na boat, boat mail, na atara. Mm. One, one eight kilometer, one oh. eight boat mail. Boat mail, yeah. yeah. Kilometer na rasta kilometer me. Mm hmm. Yeah, wala. Wow. Yeah, kilometer. Yeah, twenty-seven kilometers. Kilometer. Twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. I see. Night me light, light. Boat yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. So guys. We've learned so much. Ungal paye, ne? Kangis. Kangis, guys. Kangkori. Okay, one yeah. sec, one sec. Kangis, guys. This is. Uh, let me you guys to see him. This is Kangis. Kangkori. Ka that from from Danaskori. Kangis. Yeah, family me. Yeah, gara. Okay, family the Kangis. Ungale sandita til mahilchi. Thank you so much, Nandri Vanakam. Yeah. So guys, we learned a lot about. Um, we we got a bit of history here today in regards to Danaskodi and we can see that at one time it was considered from what he's saying the Singapore here of, of Asia 
uh, you know the Singapore here in India so very interesting guys so just we've learned a lot today Nandiri Vanakkam Poitawaran so this is what the guy was talking about this place being known as the Singapore of India or Asia as he was saying you know it was a proper developed city and you could tell from the structure this would have been very grand in its glory days so this is another evidence of the building here and this is what some of the ruins after the tsunami or cyclone in 1964 this is, this is what remains so you can see people do come here to check it out and this will have been really grand in its heyday wow So you got different people visiting, checking out the site, sorry. So this is just another, I don't know what this was. This could have been a pharmacy, could have been a bank or church or something. I don't know. But this is what remains of it today. And the British was here quite a lot from the pictures that guy was showing us. So this is a building here guys so a really sad story here in India if any of you know more about what happened here in 1964 feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below so let's take a little walk down see what's going on wow I think there's a lighthouse down there So apparently you have to be careful with the seashore because there could be a sudden drop. Wow. Vanakkam. Ungalera Tamil Tarima. Alright. So let's walk, let's walk. Wow guys gotta be careful and the sand is very hot so if you do come here make sure you have a good pair of footwear slippers or something so you get people selling these are all the beads and stuff that are being sold here and this is the water people are taking photographs wow Danish Cody this is what remains down there there's a lighthouse got a lifeguard here gotta be careful with the current So like all over there, this was all part of the island where you can see my hand pointing. But because with the cyclone, what happened, all of this has been separated. It was really devastating, man. This was really tragic. And hence the nickname for Danis Cody is Ghost Town. This is it. So these are just people visiting from different parts of India and some are locals as well to come and see what's going on. <laughs> 